Okay, so we're going to be doing a tier list, just like last time, but we've docked two doctors, so bit of a downgrade, but let's do it anyway. So we have four tiers, all beginning with a G, and here we have all 14 doctors. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, no, all 13. So anyway, let's begin. I've never seen the first Doctor, so I'm just going to assume he's bad and put him into bottom tier, along with all the other classic Doctors. Except for the 8th Doctor. I've seen half of his on-screen appearances, which was Night of the Doctor, and he was pretty good in that, so uh, we can put him in great, yeah, he, he was great, I guess. Alright, so we have the 9th Doctor, and even though he was only in one season, I was still able to get attached to the character and was a bit upset with him leaving, which isn't something some of these Doctors have done, even with multiple series. Is. What's the plural for series? I'm just going to call them seasons. So anyway, I'm putting him in the second tier. Now moving on to the 10th Doctor. I like him. I think he's great. And I know some people think he's overrated. That he's too human, unlike other Doctors. But you know, they did something different and people liked it a lot. But if you don't like it, that's okay. We can all be wrong now and again, can't we? So I'm just going to put him right here. And what comes after 10? It's 11. We're on the 11th Doctor, who is played by Matt Smith, who has no eyebrows, which ruins his chances of being put in the top two tiers. He is also a time traveling nonce too, but oh, he's so quirky. He's an old man trapped in a young man's body. No, shut up. Putting him in the bottom tier now. But I'll put him at the front because he's new and new is obviously always better. And speaking of better, we have the 12th Doctor and just look at those eyebrows. Now, eyebrows aside, he only had one good season, which was series 10. He was good in the episode Heaven Sent, which was just him. So maybe Clara is the reason I don't like series 8 and 9. It probably is. So I'm just going to put him in great. And now we have the current Doctor, 13. And because I hate women, I'm putting her below 11. Yes, he may be a time nonce, but my hatred for women is stronger than my hatred for no eyebrows. So that's all 13 Doctors, but nobody made it to the top tier, so what was the point of having it? Well, that's because it's reserved for the best Doctor, and that's Professor Paradox. Who's he? Well, he's from Ben 10. Now go watch Ben 10. Yes, this whole video was about telling you to watch Ben 10, and now I'm telling you to like, subscribe, and click on one of the videos on screen right now. Or I'll tell everyone why you're not allowed within 50 feet of a nursery.